Diolch yn fawr i ti o wain, ie, parc eirias wrth gwrs. Warm up for their two match tour of Tonga and Samoa with an intriguing contest against the National Cup winners RGC here at the sold out park eirias in Colwyn Bay. A very warm welcome to you all on the red button to North Wales. There are five uncut players in the Welsh lineup. Three of these in the pack with the promising Ollie Griffiths and Seb Davis line up alongside Ellis Jenkins in the back row. Whilst young Osprey Adam Beard packs down next to Corey Hill. Amongst the backs then at last we see Keelan Giles representing his country. But Ale Davis is the only Scarlet who starts. The other seven are on the bench. Look, Andrew Williams leads the North Wales. He's got the promising youngster Sean Lonsdale alongside him, someone who spent the past season in the West Country with the Cornish Pirates and Exeter Chiefs. And what a season it has been for RGC, and instrumental in much of their success has been the input of Jacob Bottica and Tian Lutz. And there's plenty of pace too from Backshaw up Merthyn, Hughes and Williams. Players on the way out, Jamie Roberts leading the Welsh team alongside me for the game. It's good to welcome Tony Clement, 37 caps for Wales and nine appearances for the British and Irish Lions. Tony, some say this could be a little bit of a mismatch, but to others, it's recognition perhaps of the success this part of Wales has enjoyed of league. How do you see it? Oh, it's a fantastic advert, I think, uh, you know, a superb idea and it's great that RGC can host Wales just before their South Seas tour and stand on ovation you're greeting the well side and they'll be delighted to have a you know a live match before touring I know it's been a tough season but RGC fully deserve this opportunity Alan to be fair and what a welcome for Wales everybody up on their feet in the main grandstand in front of Tony and myself and I'm sure this would have lifted the Welsh boys as they made their way onto this pitch fantastic welcome from the North Wales and the applause is still ringing out in my ears and ears. Jamie with a mascot. A great ovation for the national team as they line up in front of the grandstand. And an equally outstanding ovation now for the, the local team RGC as they make their way out into park areas. Absolutely fantastic. And isn't it good to see all these youngsters lining up and giving a guard of honour, Tony, for the locals as they make their way out into the pitch? Well, what a season, Alan. You know, there's some fantastic performance in RGC. You know, Mark Jones just alluded to it. How do you prefer to play against the national side? All right, albeit there is a Lions token on starting tomorrow as well, I understand that. But RGC have been fabulous this season. They won the, the National Cup. They've had an outstanding Premiership campaign. And I tell you what, they are some side and they will cause and ask some questions of Wales today, no doubt. We will rock you. Ringing in my ears as both teams now line up in front of the main grandstand here. And there will be a minute silence before the match gets underway in memory of local man Irvon Williams from Bangor, who sadly lost his battle with cancer during the week, as well as also all the victims of the Manchester um, terrorist attack of late as well. So, we have a minute silence before we get underway here at Park Areas.
Yeah, a very emotional moment here at Park Area Sen with that moment's applause for Irvon Williams and also all the Manchester victims. The referee for tonight's match, Ian Davis from Port Call, he's a financial advisor, but very recognisable these days on the Pro 12 circuit especially. He's in charge for the big occasion and his assistants tonight, the Sean Brickell and Dylan Shear jones and our fourth television officer is Tim Hayes. Wills will kick off, it'll be Sam Davis in um, the black headgear that we're so used to to start the game, to get it underway and let's hope for a, well, an extravaganza Tony of rugby tonight and it's a lovely uh, dry, sunny in the evening here at Park Aires as well, which should make it quite an occasion. Yeah, absolutely. Deep kick there by Sam Davis. Tough skill left kicker there to uh, to the left hand side, but great take there by Karen Atmerthen and then RGC straight into the early straps, looking to carry, probably kick now and exit and try and get a good chase on. Long kick downfield, gathered by Sam Davis. <laughs> Welcome to Park Aereus, says Tom Hughes. What a thumping tackle from the centre on the young house off. RGC forwards get there quickly. The ball is available for Wales. Back it comes uh, to uh, Christian Dacey, who's had such a good season with the Cardiff Blues. Out to the middle, first touch in the middle, but uh, the ball was knocked on. Alla Davis is onto it in a flash. Now, can Wales take advantage of this? They're obviously playing, and you'd have to uh, explain to everybody that the Welsh side tonight are playing in their squad numbers rather than uh, uh, rugby team numbers. I'm glad you cleared that up because I look like the biggest 10 in world rugby. <laughs> Alan, to be fair, 6 foot 8, Adam B. He's not playing 10, it is his squad number. The ball is moved out from Roberts. Dacey's out on the far wing there. Again, Hughes comes in with a tackle. It's two tackles for the centre in the first minute of the game. Okay. Ollie Griffiths wearing 14, number 8 tonight, Beard makes the ball available to Davis, lovely pass out to Griffiths, now then Griffiths has got three men outside him, Roberts over the ball, should be Welsh ball, Davis, Alla Davis waits for it, short little pass, was it a high tackle, could have been, but I think uh, referee Al Ian Davis suggests the pass was forward and will be a scrum, a defending scrum for the home team. Yeah, well orchestrated there by... Uh you know, Sam Davis early on, we've got plenty of runners around him, here we tee, he does take this kick very well, recycles the ball, great chase there by Tom, who's had a fabulous season for RGC, you know, great chase, but Wales just kept ball as you would expect them to do. Sam Davis in the outside half position, Gareth Anscombe, by the way, who's also in the tour party, he's at full back tonight, uh, on the bench we've got uh, Rhys Patchell as well, who's been called into the squad, Still a little bit of doubt from all accounts about Phil Dolman, whether he will be available. Had an injury, obviously, um, playing for Exeter Chiefs in their victory over Wasps in the final at Twickenham. Well, it's interesting, him and Thomas Francis, his teammate, you know, Thomas Young was a loser last week for Wasps, wasn't he, in the, in the Aviva Premiership final? But, you know, what about the Scarlets as well? You know, they, they've taken a well-earned dress, possibly some coming off the bench tonight, but, you know, great heights reached by all last week. One of the last things I suspect that Robin McBride will want from tonight's um, run out, if I can call it that, is any more injuries because he suffered badly in the last uh, week or so. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? You know, and the, and the makeup of the, the squad travelling has certainly, certainly reflected that. It's got a, a sprinkling of experience, majority of youth, and it, it's great to see. But it's like everything, well, and you take a view, you, know, you can get injured in training. And I think this type of run, whilst they won't want any injuries tonight, this type of run they'd prefer to have. Right, we're all fit to continue at last, I'm pleased to say, and it will be Evan Jones playing scrum half for RGC tonight. Um, 19 years of age from Wrexham, ex-member of the Welsh under-18s to feed the scrum, first one of the night. Hugh Worthington controls at number eight. Good quality ball, little chip over the top. Tyler Morgan uh, gathers it for Wales, Alec Davis helps him out as well. In for it quickly is Seb Davis playing at flanker. Ollie Griffiths helps him out. Tom Francis bridges over the ball. Alec Davis back on his feet. Good ball for the forwards. It swiftly moved left. 
Oh, a great tackle up in the middle again, and an opportunity for Carwin Upmarden to break away for the home side. Has he got support? I think the ball was knocked forward just outside the 22. And it'll be an opportunity for Wales to regroup, perhaps. Alan Davis said, suddenly realises he's got men available on the outside. Now then, there's a chance on here. Up to the halfway line, Anscombe is tip-tackled, but um, the ball again is available for the Welsh side. Tom Francis out in the middle, wearing number four. Ala Davis, again, plenty of players out on the right-hand side for Wales. They move it swiftly. Opportunity, Griffiths out to Corey Allen. Allen, inside pass, and it will be a first try for Ellis Jenkins. Three and a half minutes gone in the game. First blood to Wales, good interplay. Good passing down the right-hand side, and when the ball came back in, Ellis Jenkins from the Cardiff Blues is there to finish it off gloriously. Yeah, it's just the accuracy, isn't it? You know, and that was after uh, Cameron Upmurthen really got deep into, you know, the Welsh half there with a with a great tackle by Tom Hughes. But Wales just kept ball, and here we see the end result almost there. Great distribution again by Sam Davis, and again it's um, maybe a hint of a forward pass on to Corey Allen, but tap tackle there and. You know, you've got Ellis Jenkins on hand then just to finish it and get the five points. I've said it before, we're well blessed in one position more than any other in Wales, and that's open side flank, aren't we, really? When you think you've got him and Ollie Griffiths playing tonight. James Davis, many people cannot understand why he's not going out on the tour. Apart from Tom Young, who's on the bench for tonight's game as well. Well, what can I say? Well, you know, you've got four there, plus you've got two then on the line, so in, in Tipperick and Warburton. You've got half a dozen top-class flank open sides, haven't you? And who can also play their trade-up playing side as well, most of them. So, yeah, well blessed in that department. Gareth Anscombe unsuccessful with that conversion attempt from uh, way out. But it'll, it's a good start from Wales. And the intent has been there in the last two minutes that they want to move this ball as quickly as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Whilst there's huge respect for RGC, I think Wales have demonstrated already that you know, the kicking ops isn't quite there at the moment. They're quite happy to be inside the possession. Really, I'll keep up. Good play. Back shows up from the back in support. Immediately, it's a RGC ball. Hughes tries to release the ball. Tian Lutz helps out. Out it comes to the middle. No, it's the first time they've had um, an opportunity to show what they're worth out in the middle. Forward supporting. Worthington crosses the gain line. Again, it comes back on the RGC side. This is Sam Wayne Wright, the it's young prop from Hill. It's a mall. It's a mall, says Ian Davis. Suddenly becomes erect. It's not coming out, well, and Ian available. Davis is perfectly right to award a Welsh scrum. Yeah, I know. It was well managed there by um, Seb Davis. It was who uh, recognised that it was a good opportunity to turn over through the mall there, but great penetration, great carry there by RGC, particularly, I think it was Worthington who got a little bit of direction going. You know, Wales are naturally going to be well organised in defence, but, uh, you know, RGC showed good skills there in keeping the ball and had a bit of penetration about them as well. Crouch. So, the only Scarlet in the lineup to start this game then, Alan Davis, Set. to feed the, the scrum. Ollie Griffiths at number eight to start with. Sam Davis on that trusted left boot of his with a long kick downfield. Backshook takes it well, but um, it's just crossed, I think, the, uh, the line in front of us here. Great, great kick by Sam Davis from 122 to another. Well, it's great precision, isn't it? And what it's done as well is uh, Wills have actually got the throw in. So it's fantastic accuracy there by, uh, by Sam Davis. You know, left foot to left touch, on fabulous distance. Good end or end kick, but the precision was key. You know, Avon Bagshaw well marshaled, but his momentum took him into touch. Roberts, again, the ball is moved swiftly out to the right as quickly as possible. Corey Allen, this time with a little chip kick through, and he'll claim a second try for Wales. Intelligent play from Corey Allen. Suddenly, you realise there were defenders coming across, put the little grubber kick through. The bounce was kind, and it's the second try for Wales. We've only played seven minutes, they're up to ten points. Yeah, it's the run around in midfield that makes it, and then it's the accuracy, and Anscombe delivering the ball quickly as well. Here we see it, Alan Davis. There's the sort of out the back, if you like, Anscombe early, and it's just great skill level. 
you know, no matter who you're playing against, with that precision of skill, you know, great play there, Corey Allen, be delighted with that. Well, he's off to the Ospreys next season, uh, Tony. Didn't play much last season, uh, suffered a lot with injuries, of course, Corey Allen. We know him better as a centre three-quarter. Are we seeing, maybe, a change of direction in his career? Well, you know, again, it's a, it's a, it's a new opportunity for him, isn't it? It's been well documented. And again, you know, they do complement uh, each other, th those sorts of positions. He's an outside back, 13 to 14. There's particularly no great shakes in today's game, I wouldn't have thought. And Corey Allen's well adept to... Uh, to take another opportunity, really. And Scumf, right from the touchline, is a far better kick this time. He's successful, and they're up to 12 points. But I ask that question because we do know from experience that Warren Gatlin, and in particular when he comes to wingers, he likes big men, doesn't he? Well, You've right. only got to look at Cuthbert and uh, George North. Absolutely, you've got a lot of tall timber in the back line, haven't we? You know, and uh, Corey Allen's no exception. And you know, Jamie Robinson shot there as well, who. You know, originally started as a, as a 15 and then he went into midfield, you know, so yes, he does like his big backs, but great skill level there by Corey Allen, I must say. Davis, ready to put a kick out to the 22, down as far as the halfway line. It's safe over the touchline on the far side. Another experiment that we're seeing tonight, if I can use that uh, term, and we've seen him once or twice in the game already in these first 10 minutes, is uh, to see young Seb Davis, who's normally as a plays lock, but he's yeah. been tried as a blindside flanker. Now, that should give an extra option in the line notes, I would suspect. That's right, and that's the versatility. You know, you mentioned the backs, particularly out wide, and likewise in the uh, in the back five in the scrimmage. You know, particularly where a good example of that is Seb Davis, as you say. Little chip kick from Evan Jones over the Welsh uh, defence. Anscombe. Welsh ball went back, so the referee's quite happy to let play continue. Christian Dacey. Come up positively, thanks. Roberts in the outside half position. Tom Francis on the scissors. Davis. Tyler Morgan. Ball is up. Again, good defence from uh, RGC. But it's Welsh ball one more time. Davis with a little half break. Long pass out to the wing. Keelan Giles with his first touch. Chip kick back inside. Evan Jones is back there. Did he carry it over his own line though? I think Ian Davis is looking at his linesman. Uh, is it going to be a five metre scrum? He's actually going to Tim Hayes to see. To just to double check. Yeah, good enterprise, Keelan Giles, wasn't it? What I'm liking is that the, the ball is getting quite quickly into the tram lines, isn't it? So this given the opportunity for the one on ones. Yeah, I think Ian Davis has decided to uh, double check on that last move, Tony. He's gone to Tim Hayes. Evan Jones gets hold of the ball there. Carried back to him, yeah. And you know, I think he has yeah, carried scrum. it over myself. It is a scrum five, but why not give him a, two, a drop out 22? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which he's not going to uh, do. Not there. What's it going to be? It is going to be a scrum five metres out. He did carry it over. So we played 10 minutes. Two tries on the board already for the Welsh side. Ellis Jenkins and Corey Allen, the try scorers. And here they are, another great attacking platform. Yeah, absolutely, you know, and it's uh, something our Wales will really want to try and make inroads in. And it's up to RGC to try and disrupt this uh, this head of Wales, really. But it looks fairly solid, to be fair. Ollie Griffiths feeds Davis, Roberts on the burst. He's collared just to meet the shot. It's Welsh ball. Interception though for RGC. Uh, they still have it. Evan Jones goes left. Outside him is Sam Lonsdale. That's, um, another opportunity Robert to try 16. and get out of their own 22. They're looking to create a little bit more space. Once again, it's the little chip over the defence. Anscombe up from the back. He's done well, it's Welsh ball. Now, which way will Davis go this way? Will he go right or left? I think he's going out to the right. Plenty of players out there. A uh, little short pass from Sam Davis. We've seen that done so successfully for the Os Ospreys this season. Griffiths. Again, the ball comes left. Anscombe with a lot long ball. Tango. They're isolated a little bit, Dacey was, but he's put the ball back on the plate for uh, Alan Davis. 
Francis again tries to cross the great gain line. Oli Griffiths in the move for the second oh, time. Seven, a long seven, floated seven, pass out. Seven, on the wing on the other side is Seb Davis. Welsh ball one more time. Ellis Jenkins tries to um, help Ballard Davis out by creating a little bit more obstruction or good into passing by the forwards, uh, particularly from Nicky Smith. But again, they've lost it. Worthington breaks away for RGC. Nip and tuck at the moment. And uh, applause from the locals. Oh, my goodness me. What a lost opportunity. They wanted to take it quickly. But uh, unfortunately, Avon Backshaw, in his excitement, knocked the ball forward. Yeah, I mean, that's what they're looking at. There's that opportunity just to, to try and raise tempo and uh, you know, catch Press Wales a little bit unawares. But it's very difficult. I think it's Adam Beer and uh, Ellis Jenkins. They're not releasing the player there. Avon Backshaw, just in his haste, knocks on. Very unfortunate. Avon Backshaw from Flint. Played for the Premiership uh, Select 15 last season, one game. Um, and these uh, very fast set of backs that uh, they have. Well, they've scored plenty of tries last season. Backshaw himself claimed seven. Good support here tonight, you'd have to say. What a what a great scene as we look out from the main grandstand here, Tony. Yeah. Six thousand, so they reckon. Every why, seat sold. Absolutely, and why? You know, why wouldn't you come along, isn't it? You know, okay, it's the second of June, but it's, it's been it's a celebrate RGC season as well, because you know you mentioned their Sky Pro scoring prowess this season, Alan. They've been absolutely fantastic in terms of how they constructed their tries. You know, they they really have played total rugby at times. The the games I've covered, and it's been a pleasure to watch them. There's uh, Mr. Phillips on the left hand side, good old Thumper as he's called. And Jamie Roberts, it's quite an occasion, a proud occasion for Jamie too. He has said during the week how proud he is to be selected uh, captain for this tour. Crouch, shoot, find. So we're all ready to restart. 13 minutes gone here at Park Areas. Wales again attacking inside the 22. Sam Davis quite flat on the scissors. It's Corey Allen. Floats the ball up. It will be another try for Ellis Jenkins under the post. It's a second one for the flanker. It's a third try for Wales. And it's looking rather ominous, and we've only played 13 minutes. But I think it's to be applauded, okay? It looked quite easy, right? And, and to be fair to RGC, they, you know, they've defended quite a lot so far, haven't they? But it's the way Sam Davis took the ball to the line, you know. It's great accuracy from Alec Davis onto Sam Davis. He's already almost across the game line by, by receiving. You know, Corey Allen's having a big say in this game already. He's a big physical presence onto Ellis Jenkins. Unfortunately, it did look simple, but well constructed. Anscombe with his easiest kick so far, then. No problem. We're up to 19 points, a second successful conversion for Gareth Anscombe. Yeah, and again, looking to attack the scrum, you know, this is the end result, but looking to attack the scrum from right back into midfield against the grain almost is, is a tough skill, but, you know, Wales have such a solid platform that it's allowed uh, Ali Davis and Sam Davis to, to call the shots there. RGC to restart. Jacob Bottiger, son of Frano, of course. Ali Davis, and again, the Welsh eager to move it. It's moved swiftly out to Keelan Giles. He pays the one tackle, sidesteps inside. There's an air of excitement whenever he gets the ball, Keelan Giles. And again, it's Welsh ball. Forwards take it up the middle this time. And now it's moved swiftly out to the left. Here we go again. Is there another opportunity for him? Tyler Morgan with a little deft inside pass Giles is watched carefully this time by Tian Lutz and dragged over the touchline well that's the first opportunity we've had of this young man but what a talent he is oh he's class isn't he you know I mean he's, he, uh, he is exciting and uh, you know he's got a fast twitch and he's he's managing that touchline really really well he's very close to it. what I like is how Wales moved him into that space because it's, it's, it's tough just getting the ball right across the back and then creating an overlap like that They've lost possession, sadly, and again, this could be another opportunity for Wales. Out in the wing, it's another second try, this time for Corey Allen. Two for Ellis Jenkins, two for Corey Allen. Too easy. Again, you know, Wales are employing the full width, aren't they? You know, and the passing, you must say, is uh, 
Yeah. It's very top draw, isn't it? And they, they, everybody's running onto it. Okay, so an RGC overthrow, unfortunately. Ellis Jenkins on the ball. Christian Dacey has the awareness onto Sam Davis, eventually onto Corey Allen, just to hit that wider touchline where RGC are most vulnerable. Yeah. The difficulty sometimes with tries like that, it came from a mistake, but you know, credit to Wales for actually then not just hitting up and recycling, they actually hit the space pretty much off the mistake, and yeah. that's what allowed Co uh, Corey Allen to touch down. As you said, it, it all stemmed from that uh, losing possession from the line-out right in front of us here. The ball went over the top. The Welsh back row were onto it in a flash. The ball was moved swiftly out to the right. Easy second try for Corey Allen. And Gareth Anscombe uh, must like this part of the pitch. He was successful last time from wider out than this. This one looks a good one as well. Is it going to curl in? Yes, it is. It's uh, a third successful conversion uh, for Gareth Anscombe. And uh, Wales move up to 26 points, and we've only played 17 minutes. Yeah, and it's their, um, it's their enterprise, isn't it? You know, they, they, they're quick on the floor. Aren't they? There's not many guys actually on the ground at any one time as well. So Wales have pretty much, so far, got 13, at least 13 right. men on their feet at any one time as well. Jenkins did well, won that ball back. Davis. Tucker! Nicky Smith out in the middle. First time we've seen him. Sam Davis again. Ollie Griffiths. Good to see this young man as well playing. Had such a good season for the Dragons. And again, look, the Welsh boys are ripping the defence apart. Into the 22. Davis has got players out. Dacey releases the ball to Jenkins. Oh, out to the side. On the left, it could be another try. It's a fifth try. And this time I think it's Tyler Morgan who's crossed on the left-hand side. But again, the defence was torn to shreds up the middle. Yeah, it was. And I think it's how many people, that, how many players RGC have to commit to the breakdown. It's really now starting to tell. I mean, you know, the end product, Tyler Morgan went over. The end product, you know, we see the initial bust, which just gets in behind RGC. And it's, it's not to panic, and it's, it's slick from here. Jamie Roberts, watch his pass. This is the key pass. Just going up here. I mean, that's... You know, taking two players out and that's class uh, and allows Tyler Morgan who's gladly to his feet to get a touchdown yeah, he's, an, he's yet another young man who's um, he's got three caps for Wills but um, suffered a lot with injuries and uh, one hopes very much that he has a trouble free season for the Dragons next year yeah, such so a lot to offer the game in Wales no you look at what's on show isn't it I know that uh, well, they're not making it easy for Anscombe, are they, Tony? All these conversions, are, apart from one, are from wide out. Oh, once again, it looks a good one. It is a good one, too. Well, he's 80%, isn't he, so far? So four from five, I mean, uh, as you say, and at least four of those would be very, very difficult. So, uh, so far, so good for Anscombe. Now, the probability, I would suspect, as the game is going on, and in the second half, we're likely to see all these substitutions coming on from the Welsh side. Um, but it's all looking too easy at the moment. Um, for the neutrals, I would suspect, what the game wants now is for RGC to hit back and get a try before the break. Yeah, hopefully just get some possession, isn't it? It's very difficult for them, to be fair, right? It's a tough ask. Yeah. You know, Wales are enjoying a, a horse of possession, and... Uh, the way they're using it is very effective as well. They're not committing too many to the breakdown, and RGC, unfortunately, have to probably number up a little bit more in that area. Now then, is there an opportunity here? A little grubber kick through. Acres of space back there as well. Trickles, and Sam Davis is caught. That back shot was on to him, and Tian Lutz. Yes, at last, there's some crumb of comfort, you can say. Uh, for the home team, it could very well be the fullback back Avon Backshaw. It is indeed. Well, no wonder they're up on their feet, Tony. Absolutely thrilled. I mean, let's be honest, look at the patch under Chase through there and put Sam Davis under enormous pressure. Could he have got the kick away? Could he got a pass away? I don't know. We'll have another look. But great energy by Backshaw at Meriden Tom Hughes to really hound Wales there. And here we see it. It's given the whip. Lutz. Good kick ahead, good footballer, and it's just the chase. 
Yeah, and I think uh, Sam, Sam Davis was caught and uh, robbed with the ball. Yeah, I suppose, you know, it's just the the chase in numbers by RGC has created that try. Fabulous. I mean, Sam Davis was the last man back, really. Couldn't do much else. An eighth try of this past season, therefore, for the full-back. And um, I think just what the doctor ordered. Definitely. Jacob Bottega then, 267 points during the season for the outside half. And he's pulled this one sadly to the right, but not to worry, the game has got what it needed. That's given the crowd a lift as well. And uh, a little bit of hope, you can say, for the North Williams. No, it was needed, as you say, and Luke's recognised that, didn't he? You know, ball in hand might have been tough for RGC to really make inroads, so the kick ahead was well chased by his teammates. And they've reclaimed the ball from the restart. Evan Jones to Bottica. Uh, uh, this time they get in each other's way, but they regroup now then. Can they try and work their way out of their own 22? Evan Jones waits, Ian Davis got in the way last time, and a couple of players as well, but this time it's a little dink over the uh, defence, and Scum is up from the back, he's got support, uh, G Giles, Welsh ball again, look, plenty of players out in the middle, good defensive tackle though, brings the move to an end, and, um, it's a wreck, and the ball is back on the Welsh side. They see two men to bring him down. This time again, it's looking rather ominous down that right hand side. Ollie Griffiths tries to put the hand off in. Lively character, uh, Ollie Griffiths, and uh, in the absence perhaps of somebody like Dan Baker, who's not in the squad, um, well. They, you never know, there might be an opening at number eight. Absolutely, no, you're right. Great flexibility, good options. Yeah, Wills will make it work a little bit more then. I think the key was a big hit in midfield by RGC, and I think as soon as that happened, you know, Wills had to then put more bodies into that breakdown, and RGC had a fuller line to defend. You know, more numbers on their feet, really, and it then resulted in Wills having to work a little bit harder to try and find the holes. And it ends up then with a bit of a mistake here, so... You know, whilst Keelan Giles is excited, he'd be disappointed to, to drop that. But, you know, it was more, more, of, a, more of a match-up in defence on that occasion, Alan. Well, uh, I think um, Lori Morgan has got the company of uh, Welsh Rugby Union Chief Executive Martin Phillips. Let's yeah, Martin can, uh, Phillips and Cadw Cwmniri now preview three door in Deb Rugby Cymru. Martin, happy with the performance tonight? Um, slightly disappointed, I'm sure, to allow that try in. Yeah, I think Sean Edwards will be uh, more, more, more disappointed than me. But no, it's a great game. Uh, very fast, actually, just sat next to the guys here, uh, measuring the pace of it. And it's a, re it's a really quick game. So uh, exactly what we needed, and I'm sure for RGC as well. well. Yeah, it's a great occasion, isn't it, for Parque Irias, RGC, and also the people of North Wales. How important is it to bring rugby here? Yeah, it's something that's been you know, worked on a long time by the WRU, and it, things have probably got, you know, got better a lot more quickly in the last couple of years. So big crowd today. Uh, sell out and then obviously RGC have done so well uh, in terms of performance on the pitch as well so we were all commenting actually the the atmosphere is brilliant you know they got their own songs and they've really got behind their team so a brilliant advert for rugby really and also whispers of reforming Wales A uh, maybe reforming them here is that is that true yeah yeah we've definitely confirmed that so uh, that'll happen next year we're just trying to finalize a fixture now so probably only one a year but exactly for the you know the sorts of players that we're seeing tonight you know, this is probably the, the World Cup squad for 2023. Um, so this game, Wales A, it's all about depth and building for the future. Exactly. Thank you very much. Dioch Martin. Uh, Dioch. Martin Phillips, Chief Executive of the Welsh Rugby Union there in the company of Laurie Morgan. Welcome. If you've just joined us on the red button on S4C. Um, we played almost 25 minutes here at Park Arias in Colwyn Bay. Uh, the home team trailing by 33 points to five at the moment. Ellis Jenkins and Corey Allen both having scored 
abrasive tries apiece for Wales so far. Tylee Morgan getting the fifth one. Yeah, good kick ahead there by uh, RGC. They did have a bit of confusion in midfield, but they eventually got the ball to uh, to Reese Williams on that left hand and put a decent kick in and put Wales under pressure again, you know. And Tyler Morgan eventually run out of options. So RGC just probably happy just to be this far up the pitch at the moment. They've had a six-day training camp up here in North Wales, Tony, uh, after a long old season. And a warm-up game, though, is essential, isn't it? Because there's nothing like much fitness. And, of course, you have to remember that uh, from Robin McBride and the coaching team's point of view, certain combinations have to gel, too. Yeah, it's all about the environment, isn't it? It's going to a changing room, it's actually getting the match day nerves, the team prep, the day, what's involved, etc. So it's creating that environment, and I think this is perfect, isn't it? You know, I think they travel midweek now down to... Uh, to New Zealand and, and get on with it down there but uh, yeah this is ideal prep <laughs> and some would say uh, there's definitely more than one banana skin perhaps waiting for them on this tour but you know plenty of sunblock needed to happen yeah, <laughs> I'll ask him about that afterwards at the moment Tian Lutz trying to burrow his way through up in the middle Evan Jones is there quickly RGC ball Jacob Bottega as well again it's um, North William ball Evan Jones perhaps comes to the right back show with a little grubber kick through uh, Anscombe as well comes up from the back Tyler Morgan outside him now then Ellis Jenkins has he got support out to Morgan Morgan going to the corner great tackle coming in from Tian Lutz brings another promising Welsh move to an end yeah great uh, interplay there with uh, Tyler Morgan and Ellis Jenkins I mean Ellis Jeng is covering every inch, isn't he? He looks, you know, great enterprise here by Alma Baggs, a good turnover, Anscombe. It's a good free ball, that is, and be offloads, that's the key. Tyler Morgan manages to touch time well, but Ellis Jenkins gives the ball back quickly, that's the key. But great defence, you know, fantastic defence by Lutz there. Now then, let's hope they get this line out right, bearing in mind what happened a few minutes ago. Over the top, the Welsh have claimed it, I think. Uh, RDC, though, have regrouped and stolen the ball back, and it's allowed a little bit of space for Evan Jones to clear, doesn't find touch Giles has got Anscombe inside him he's looking to counter-attack the tackle was a little bit high but Ian Davis is quite happy to allow play to continue I thought it was obstruction Daisy, Sam Davis, Corey Allen Allen still going, Tyler Morgan out in the right wing Welsh ball again DC so lively for a hooker, you know, he had a terrific season for Cardiff Blues, player of the season. Uh, Griffiths comes in to lend his hand, it's a long floated pass this time from Sam Davis, uh, but sadly the ball is not forward, and um, Wales are penalised, I think it might have been Seb Davis coming in from the side as well. Yeah, I think it was Thomas Francis, wasn't it, in the uh, outside centre position there, and uh, perhaps disappointed not to hold on to that, but, you know, such as the modern game where you get these guys popping up everywhere. But no, all of a sudden, RGC is starting to cause some problems, aren't they? You know, um, maybe a combination. Will's getting a little bit sloppy as well. But RGC, to be fair, you know, Bottle has put him into a good field position now. Hopefully, they can win this line out and uh, get into the midfield and maybe test Jamie Robertson Co. in defence. Come off. Hooker for RGC Especially is here. Evan Yardley. And I wouldn't be at all surprised that um, some people tuning in with us tonight might remember his father, no, 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 Paul, playing as flanker for Aberavon, I think it was many moons ago. Well, I mean, Evan Yardley and his, uh, you know, his, his, his uh, colleague as well, Rhys Williams, who's on the bench at Hooker, they've been absolutely incredible for RGC this year. You know, they've been first receivers on a lot of occasions, really do make them tick. You know, it's difficult tonight, obviously, because they're not getting the, the possession that they have perhaps been used to over the past weeks. But, uh, you know, certainly a lot of endeavour there, Alan. little bit of an injury again and, uh, I think we're all right to continue could be Hugh Worthington who's having the treatment down in front of us but on the subject of injuries Tony well going back to what I said earlier several key players haven't helped um, uh, with the preparations from Robin Buckrise point of view up front you've got people like Rob Evans Samson Lee big question mark Jake Ball James King key players key forwards and then in the backs another local hero up here Reen Williams all have dropped out yeah it's just, you know they're sort of big frontliners they've all had a big impact with Wales haven't they in some shape or form uh, over, over the last season as well and um, 
you know, what, what looks healthy now is um, is a squad that Wales are going to travel with, but uh, obviously, um, you know, facing Samoa and Tonga is going to be no no mean feat, is it? Yeah. And, and we know as well they're both going to be physical encounters, don't we? Particularly the second one. You've had experience of that yourself. Oh, absolutely. I remember <laughs> playing an Appian in 94, and the climate for one flip is probably 130 degrees. And you know, these guys are you know, adept to playing fast-moving rugby, aren't they? That's what they belong to. So oh, Alan and Wales will, uh, will have it tough. Corey Allen dancing through the defence. Look, creates another wonderful opportunity for the Welsh side. Tom Davis, men out on the left. He's moved swiftly. Seb Davis had two men outside him, decided to try himself. They've regrouped. It's Nicky Smith, 10 metres out from the try line. Davis almost going on his own. Ellis Jenkins inside. Again, it's Welsh ball. Tom Francis feeds it out. Sam Davis decides to go on his own. Got Tyler Morgan inside. Was it a try? I'm not sure if that last pass went astray. I think the referee might have allowed it. And it could be a another try for Tyler Morgan yeah I think it was a pro swing again wasn't it it was a great um, it was a great out the back here you, potentially with uh, I think it was Ollie Griffiths Ellis Jenkins but it wasn't cross and I, I think the, the hit came afterwards Sam Davis then benefited from that if you like the hole was created and uh, nice little soft offload of Tyler Morgan who's had what a busy half well the ball seems to be running their way at the moment. We've got a brace of tries, firstly from Ellis Jenkins, then Corey Allen, and now from Tyler Morgan as well. Um, and it's another reasonably easy kick for Anscombe. His kicking boot certainly have been on tonight. Shouldn't have any problem with this one. Another two points, which takes him up to 40 points as we come up to the half-hour mark. Yeah, I mean, obviously the end results have been, you know, great. You know, the way the tries have been sort of executed. But it's, I think it's the approach work and. You know, the numbers off the ball have been key for Wales. You know, they've flooded the midfield quite well. They've, you know, RGC have had to scan a lot more in defence and it's difficult then to pick up that late runner. So going back to what you just said now, is, it, is it at the at the end of the match tonight, is the, is the result irrelevant from that point of view? Is it, it, is it important that Wales perhaps um, not, not just win but put on a performance, which they are doing comfortably? But I, don't like to, I don't like to over use the word systems, you know, sometimes it can be used too much, but I think they play, you know, they're going about their business, aren't they? There's no kick policy tonight, really, apart from the odd couple of clearances by Sam Davis, who's gone into touch. But apart from that, it's been maybe just getting into position and, um, you know, working on what they've done all week. And so far, I mean, 40 points against RGC in the first half an hour is, is a great achievement, isn't it? Evan Jones, Worthington did well. Oh, backwards. The ball went backwards, but Keelan Giles, I think, has ripped it back for, for, for Wales. Anscombe comes in at scrum half. Oh, it's an interception, and it will be a second try for the North Wales. And this time it's Tom Hughes who dives over under the post. And again, I perhaps somehow doubt if that try would have come if the Welsh side would have kicked out of their own 22. But in there... And, Eagerness to move the ball out to the right hand side. Tom Hughes was onto it in a flash. There was nobody back for Wales as Anscombe was in at scrum half. Look. Yeah, it's out the back, isn't it? In behind uh, Corey Hill there. But uh, Tom Hughes, I mean, he's poached all game as he's put a couple of man and ball tackles in. He's, in, he's, he's, he's quick off his line, right? I, I tell you what, that try still needs some scoring. He spotted that. Jimmy Roberts would potentially maybe have hit up normally but they're trying to get the whip in the game, but Tom, he was well done. Yeah, the farmer's boy from Dolgethe, this time crossing oh, under the post. Yeah. Look at the smile on his face, and says it a, all. What a season he's had, I mean, uh, he's some performer. Ten tries before tonight's game, make that 11. Played a little bit in Ireland, apparently, as well. I think when you look at Portugal, Lutz and him, so for, that, for that midfield... And then you've got their, their wide runners, you know, your Reese Williams, at Merrithins. You know, Sam Jones as well, who's on the bench for RGC tonight. You know, complimented by Bagshaw. You know, they really, really have played total rugby this year through Mark Jones. Now then, this is where our yeah. test as commentators, Tony, is tested out to the hilt, you can say, really, because substitutions are about to be made, particularly in the Welsh side. Half an hour played, therefore, and... Um, I think we have a new front row for a start. This. Well, well, there we are. I think this is where we start asking for a bit more forgiveness now. Don't we? <laughs>
Right, so. We'll wait and see who's come on. <laughs> and even the PA man sitting over on our left hand side has drawn a few laughters from the crowd as well. It won't be the last time tonight that he'll be tested and we'll be tested here as well. Well, Evan Jones clears. Uh, doesn't find touch. Sam Davis is back there. Anscombe inside him. Anscombe. Oh, through the brick. He's on his own. He's isolated, but it could be a, a wonderful solid solo try for Anscombe. He's collared just about two metres out. Arriving quickly is Dylan Lewis. He's only just come on the Cardiff Blues prop. He's about a foot out. On the line, as you see. Alan Davis waiting. Griffiths inside, the number eight. Wills attacking, going for another try. It's bound to come, and it has. And this time it's the skipper, Jamie Roberts, yeah, say, who crosses. Be, be pleased with that one. It's a typical Jamie Roberts trademark line. Shook off the earlier interception pass to uh, to Tom Hughes, and he's capitalised on that. But it all started from a from a great break by Gareth Anscombe. You see a ball in two hands, asking questions. Silky, to be fair, great step, nice mazy run there, almost got there. And as you said, Dylan Dylan Lewis was employed quite quickly off the bench. And you know this line. I mean, it's tough to stop at any level. Now I know the position you played and starred in this game. There are many people in Wales who think that Gareth Anscombe is more of a full-back than an outside half. Have you an opinion on this? Oh, I don't know. I, 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 I think Gareth um, uh, Anscombe orchestrates well at 10. I've got my doubts at 15 personally, but then, you know, that's just my opinion. I think we have exciting 15s who ask different questions, but, you know, he, he's an accomplished player, isn't he? And I think that counter-attack sort of justified that really and uh, you know why they perhaps seeing him at the back but this the versatility that they have at their disposal let's be honest he's you know, a footballer he is a footballer yeah decent 10 fair play okay <laughs> 47 12 then uh, a feast of rugby already in this first half we've only got about five minutes i think left on the clock yes it's welsh ball Alad davis We'll put it down that far touchline. It's a, a good kick from the scrum half. Well, I think from memory, probably a third or fourth kick from hand by Wills this half. So, you know, they are maybe recognising when to just put it off the park. Uh, and I think Laurie Morgan has got the company of uh, Phil John this time, one of the assistant coaches with RGC. Phil in the Nagus Ayat and Ramser. Both in the Scarlet of your game, he's in him. Becoming a um, little bit of a legend up here. Gormor, Medvian, yeah, I just enjoyed Gormor and Medvian. I can't believe I'm honest. I was thinking that Nick Adur Bela. Phil is a little bit disappointed at the amount of possession that his side have had so far. Yeah, but if you then guess your boys, and there's the message be at half-time. She's asking. I think Phil is saying a little bit. Gormor, Medvian, 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 Gormor, Evan John quick to take it. They've moved into the uh, Welsh half. They almost lose possession. It's untidy possession, having said that. Uh, Tian Lutz has done well. And Baxo releases the ball again back on uh, the inside pass. This time to Tim Gray. Tim Gray to Evan John. He's on, he's not his own. The pass went forward. They're within a foot of another third try. Oh, it's a great pity that last pass went astray. It deserved the try. Welsh forwards retreating, trying to help out, trying to create a little bit of space for possibly Sam Davis to clear. Anscombe, right behind, it could be Sam Davis's ball. Look how close they are to the try line. Onside, back foot. No, no, 14. Welsh ball. Back foot six. Again, it'll be kept, uh, I think, up front. Now, they've created a little bit of room Wait, for Sam Davis to clear. 
It's a long kick, it's a good one as well. But back there is my party. Inside to Tom Hughes. Tom Hughes with a lovely pass. Gets hold of Tian Lutz. Referee quite happy to let play continue. RGC ball, they're within about 10, 12 yards of the try line. Okay. Back it comes. We could be going to the um, TMO to have a look at that last one. There is a penalty coming, I think, for a high tackle. RGC with the referee playing advantage. Little chip kick over to the far side. Rhys Williams gathers, goes for the corner. The inside pass to Evan Yardley, who plummets over for a third try for RGC. Wonderful rugby from the locals and a deserved score. I think that just sums them up, right? There's that perseverance. They never say die to be fair, and they're keeping the ball alive. They go through all the array of skills there. You know, there's a couple of out the back passes, there's a cross field kick. You know, there's some great hard running there. Reese Williams is great off the kick when you see it. Here we see it's great approach work, great offload there by Sam Wainwright. Here's the kick, and it's, you know, it's a missed tackle. Reese Williams, low centre gravity, great. Keeps his hands free onto Yardley. It's a well, well deserved trial. Excellent rugby from the locals. And deserved applause from this uh, huge crowd here at Park Arias. The thing is, that's sustained pressure, isn't it? You know, they they made inroads. Okay, the, the ball went astray on the first onslaught into the Welsh 22, and then they they counterattacked, and then they almost deserved it. Well, they fully deserved that opportunity to score. Jacob Bottega then successful with one conversion so far. He's about two meters in from the far touchline. Posts. To his right. As he curled it in, it looks a good one. It is good. It's another two points which takes him up to 19 against 47 uh, as the first half draws to a close. Um, but when you think at one stage it was 33 nil to Wales. I think it's a different complexion on things now as this first half uh, comes to an end, Tony. Yeah, as I say, Will substitute their skipper, Jamie Roberts. Is it? You know, there's a couple of soft tries in it, but RGC fully deserved that last one in particular, the way he constructed it. You know, and um, the scoreboard's got a totally different complexion for them. And they've uh, regrouped, and I think they might have lost it on the ground as well. Yeah, it's recycled back on the well side. Uh, illegally, says Ian Davis. And uh, I think this could very well be the last kick of the first half. Or, or are they being adventurous and a little bit too adventurous, perhaps? No, they've still got possession. I think it's in their DNA, isn't it? You know, we might have kicked off there and uh, yep. gone to the, the change room, but they have to keep playing. Long <laughs> floated pass out to Williams on the wing. Comes back inside. Ellis Jenkins in with a tackle and Ollie Griffiths assisting. I think Wales have. Uh, yeah, they've got possession. Recycled back on the well side. Now then, our wheel's going to have the last word in this first half. Tyler Morgan does well. He's already got the uh, tries on the scoreboard. He's got another one now. A fine individual effort from the young Dragon Centre brings this first half, this exciting first half, to a close. Yeah, it's great enterprise there by Tyler Morgan. He's had a he's had a decent half, isn't he? He's, he's, he's been amongst. Lots of things, and uh, you know this is sheer determination. Great, great pace, determination here to get through. Because I went back short, almost had him, but you know Keelan Jones was on hand maybe to support him, but he didn't need him on that occasion. Great finish, right? Yeah. And I think after this conversion, the referee will bring an exciting first half to an end. Plenty of entertainment for this huge crowd here at Park Areas. And by and large, I think they will be quite satisfied with the way the, their own team has performed against the national side. Oh, definitely, I think, you know, to get uh, 19 points on the board. And I think the way they've come back into the game, I think first half an hour is really tough going, but RGC, very determined bunch, and, uh, you know, particularly the last try they scored, you know, they put that together properly, and I think that, uh, you know, certainly uh, made a statement. Gareth Anscombe is successful yet again with another conversion. The first half comes to a close. 
with Wales leading comfortably by 54 points to 19, having scored, I think, eight tries altogether in this first half. More to come in the second half, I'm sure. Rejoin Tony Clement and myself, Alan Jenkins, for what should be another cracker uh, in the second half. At the break, Wales ahead, 54-19. Well, welcome back on the red button on SOC to this match here at Park Arias, a sold out Park Arias as RGC take on Wales before they go on their South Sea expedition. Uh, at the break, in case you haven't joined us, it's Wales 54, RGC 19. Eight tries already in this first half. RGC to get the second half underway. Several changes, as you might expect, uh, with both sides. And uh, as the match will uh, continue, we'll try and elaborate on those. Here's one of them, Thomas Williams on a scrum half for Alec Davis. Sitting alongside me, uh, ex Swansea Wales, British Lion fullback Tony Clement. Uh, great rugby in the first half. Everybody quite happy, I think, with the way the game had uh, gone. One hopes very much, Tony, that it doesn't sort of. Um, spoil the game too much in the second half with all these constant changes which is what we're all expecting absolutely yeah. it's just make it's still make it a contest isn't it? and what i what i would love first half wales execution superb as you would expect you know as cuthbert goes over now you know great interplay there by wales to be fair great chip ahead but rgc just before half time really hit their straps as well so they you know making this a contest to be fair but that's a great opening by wales yeah First touch for one of those substitutions, Alex Cuthbert, he'll be quite happy with that. Um, and the, a very kind bounce as well. The little grubber kick through from Anscombe. Uh, the bounce was kind, Alex Cuthbert, no problems. Over in the corner, ninth try for Wales. Yeah, it's great skill. I mean, it, it all came from a, a spilt pass by RGC in midfield, it did. But Wales capitalised through Navidi. Eventually onto Anscombe, kick ahead, Cuthbert. You know, it's a great, uh, great touchdown, great execution. Now he successful, Gareth Anscombe, with six conversions out of eight in the first half. And would have to say, with the first few were quite difficult ones. This one isn't easy. He's about uh, six meters in from the near touch line. He's pulled this one to the left, though. Um, but he'd be quite happy with his performance so far. Um, almost crossed for a fine individual score before the interval as well. Um, as far as I can tell, Tony, Rory Thornton is on in the second row, Tom Williams at scrum half, Cuthbert on the wing, Josh Navidi's on in the back row, Rhys Patchell somewhere in the backs, uh, and of course we had those three changes as well um, in the front row before the break, Ryan Elias, Win Jones and Dylan Lewis were on as well. Uh, Corey Hill, I notice, has just come on as well. Um, in the second row and uh, a few more I wouldn't be at all surprised to come as the second half continues oh, I think you've summed up really well and I'll to be fair <laughs> I think it's just over half a side has been changed as you say and uh, you know Wales to be fair have started the half quite strongly and they, you know they, they start to maybe to adopt a little bit more of a, a territory game as well they've kicked up field a little bit more so far I know it's early doors first half I think they only kicked the ball about four times but um, I think they realise that maybe half time that they, they need to um, you know, play the game perhaps on their terms a bit more, really. RGC ball, but they're going backwards. Back shows caught. It's a tackle, it's a tackle, Josh. Uh, Navidi's there in a flash, but it's a uh, good ball for the uh, locals. But the Welsh defence was up very quickly on them. So it's an opportunity for Bottiger to clear. It's a long kick downfield. Anscombe with a long floated pass inside. Now then, Patchell, Corey Allen, Tyler Morgan, three tries already to his uh, credit in the first half. Looks sharp as well. This is Thornton. Uh, inside him is uh, Dylan Lewis. Cuthbert from the right wing offloads very well to Thomas Williams. What a good season he had last season, the Chalky project as well. Navidi, another one of his uh, fellow Blues. This is the uh, Scarlet's prop, Win Jones. Created Red such a good impression. Away. The ex-Handovery player. Welsh ball, yet again. Moved up to the right. The offloading is good. Oh, but it's a lovely tackle from Rhys Williams, which brings the move to an end. Um, 
But again, good swift passing, first of all to the left, then back to the right. And uh, a fine tackle from the left winger brings the move to a close. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? You know, and Patchell's flexibility you talked about first half, isn't it? Anscombe's gone into 10, Patchell on at 15. You know, with um, you know a huge back three, to be fair, now Wales in terms of height. And, um, you know, they're just showing perhaps a little bit more of a, a constructive way to the try line now that... You know, it's, it's a very uh, sort of efficient start by Wales. Two changes, two on the um, RGC side, and one of them was the thrower in there, taking over from Evan Yardley, the try scorer before the break for the North Wales is, is Rhys Williams. So we've got two Rhys Williams is on, one on the wing, one is hooker. Little kick from Evan Jones downfield. Cuthbert is back there, he releases the ball, but they've lost it on the ground. Um, and the mistake from the winger. Um, Ian Davis gets in the way of Evan Jones, and uh, I think he should. He should allow a, a scrum surely to the North Williams, and that's what he has. Yeah, he has, and uh, he recognises that quite well as Ian Davis. He came into me back in the past, scrum obviously both. Yeah, right decision from the referee, got in the way, advantage to the home Thanks, team. Sorry, by and large, they've done pretty well in the scrums. They've held their own. They haven't sort of... Um, I sort of half expected the Welsh side to be quite dominant up front, they must be honest. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. It's been a contest, isn't it? You know, I know that we've got a different front row. And, uh, you know, Ryan Elias has, has been particularly lively at Hooker since he's come on. Evan Jones to feed the scrum there. As soon as I say that they've been fairly dominant, well... They go backwards. The kick is charged down. It should be another easy one this time for Ant Gareth Anscombe. I think what's pleasing there, Alan, is, as I say, you talked about the scrum, it was very timely, wasn't it? You know, and to be fair to uh, you know, Dylan Lewis, Ryan Elias and Wynne Jones as a trio, aided by the, the back five behind them, really tight scrummage there, and that allowed, if you like, Anscombe to put that charge down in, and uh, Bottega was under all sorts of pressure. No man's hand, really, for a 10 on a retreat in scrum. What do you do? chip ahead, charge down. In hindsight, perhaps he would have put a ball in the air, but, uh, you know, he tried to, uh, a bit of trickery, but it backfired. Well, the faces of two uh, scarlet heroes from uh, last weekend here, Gareth Davis at scrum half, Scott Williams, both not playing tonight, as uh, is um, the Ospreys prop, Rodri Jones. Slight injury as far as he's concerned, and the other two arrested as far as we know. What a pleasure that Scarlet's game, wasn't it? Absolutely superb. Start to finish. I think he pulled it to the side. Owen Williams, that's another one who's just come on. I've just realised who he is. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just to add to the confusion, yeah. He, uh, another class performer, to be fair. Yeah, the Swansea Valley product, of course, who's had such a, a good couple of seasons as a tiger up in Welford Road. No, it's good to see... Uh, you know these guys in the uh, in the squad setup and hopefully making an impact on this game. Welsh ball, Ellis Jenkins in the outside half position. Tom Williams again releases it. Anskim, Patchell, this time back show with the interception. That looked a little bit dangerous, but I don't think there was any malice in it. The play is allowed to continue, despite the uh, front somersault. Man on the PA next to us trying to uh, encourage the crowd to get behind the team and lift them a little bit. Eight minutes into the second half, two tries already uh, to Wales. Good defence. Again, this time from Ryan Elias, the Scarlet's hooker. Jones. Uh, Reese Williams, the substitute hooker. A little bit of help coming uh, from Andrew Williams, the captain. I think Will Bryan has just come on uh, in the pack as a substitute uh, for the North Wales as well, wearing number 20. It's a 
kick across field, Anscombe is onto it, he ran that one, or Patchell I should say, and he runs it into touch and it will be a, a, a line-out. I think I what was pleasing there for Wales was that, I think it was uh, Patchell actually through the intercept. RGC then stayed on the ball, and this is the end result, I think it's about the fourth phase, they've constantly got pushed back by Wales, good defensive exercise by Wales, particularly counter-wrecking, good line speed, and it forced RGC on that occasion to kick, which uh, is always, always a good sign. I think Sean Evans would be pleased with that pass to the play, to be fair. Reese Williams with a long floated one, certainly not straight, but uh, I, I'm not sure if uh, Ian Davis will want it thrown in again. I think he was trying to get his maths right, the referee, and see how many forwards were in. So it'll be another opportunity for RGC. Again, look. Um, they won't be happy with the line-out calls. Wales have stolen it. Remember, Adil did a try in the first half. Uh, this is Corey Allen. Patchell with a long kick downfield, but it's um, on the full, over the touchline, on the far side. And it will be a line-out for RGC. Yeah, so perhaps a bit of an average attack, you know, dare I say. I think Wales have been clinical, potentially up until now, but the last couple of attacks have been a bit lateral and just fizzled out a little bit. So, um, if I were Wales, I'd perhaps rediscover a little bit more directness in order just to square it up a little bit more on the in the tram lines, Alan, just to you know get a bit more honesty on the space out wide at the moment. It's a little bit of a drifting game. We talked about footballers in the first half, and Gareth Anscombe in particular. Here's another one. Uh, Rhys Patchell had a, a really good season, end of season, especially with the Scarlets. Oh, they class players, to be fair, and there's a lot of versatility on there. How many, how many tens on there? How many... 15s on there, how many midfielders on there, you know, there's a, there's a mixed bag on there and I suppose what we see now is, uh, you know, the guys all sort of trying to gel together and to well, add to your, uh, after, uh, your evening, Alan, you're going to try and uh, talk about <laughs> the RGC subs, no? Well, all I noticed, I'd have to say, Tony, is that the numbers that came on were 18, 21 and 22, so which means Ross Davis is on in the front row and Cam Davis and Billy McBride behind the scrum. Well, that's an intriguing one. It's an, uh, a fine night, you can say, for the McBride family, isn't it? It's father against son. Absolutely, and some uh, you know, home territory up here for them as well. So, uh... But they've had some reinforcements to try and strengthen the side. Billy McBride, one of them. Dion Jones, another one who's played um, with the Quins in Carmarthen and also with Llanelli. As well as the young second row, Sam Lonsdale, who's had experience of playing with the Exeter Chiefs yeah. this season as well. Yeah, it's great, you know, as you say, bringing them in, because RGC have had a really tough campaign. What we underestimate with RGC as well is these guys go away every other week down to South Wales and uh, in a tough premiership. So, you know, to draw in some, um, some resources is, uh, is much needed, to be fair to them. Welsh ball, Nicky Smith, tackled about five metres outside the 22. Tom Williams onto it quickly. Oh, the good flat ball again. Seb Davis on the charge. He's come back on. He went off half time, but he's back on as a substitute. Yeah. He had one fine charging run up the middle in the first half as well. It's Welsh ball. And the angles of running are good at the moment. Direct running from the Welsh forwards, opening the gaps up. You feel as if there's another try on the cards, Tony. No, they've lost it. Disappointing turnover by Wales, but I think it's what I was saying. I think, I think they needed a little bit more back at the heart of RGC just to, to make the the, the the field a bit more spacious again, you know, because they felt they were drifting a little bit maybe five ten minutes ago. But no, that last surge led, if you like, by uh, Seb Davis was uh, was particularly good by Wales. Uh, an injury for um, the captain of the RGC side, Andrew Williams. He'll have a little bit of treatment. And it gives me, therefore, an opportunity to turn to the man sitting alongside me tonight, Tony Clement, because tomorrow morning, Tony, the British Lions start on a, a tough schedule, to say the least, out in New Zealand. Uh, you yourself travelled on the 89 and the 93 tours. Happy memories? Ah, oh, superb. I mean, you know, you've just got to pinch yourself now to uh, have been part of those, really, the friendships and, you know, the, the, the sheer... It's like everything, isn't it? I think when you play with better players... You know, you, you just you just tend to embrace it, and, and tomorrow I'm absolutely can't wait to see how the Lions kick off because I think they're going to do particularly well down there. I'll come back to you on that one in a minute as Wales are in another attacking position inside the 22. Good offloading as well, forward support in the backs. 
and again plenty of space out on the left hand side for them to exploit Owen Williams going for the outside break this time call it about five meters out Welsh ball Navidi in the outside half position it reaches Wynne Jones though Scarlett's prop releases the ball back through his legs they close in towards that try line held up over the try line it should be a scrum five meters out and it is I think what I like about Wales there is that you know the last two sort of carries if you like I think the first one was I think it was Dylan Lewis it might have been no I'm sorry it was Wynne Jones and then it was Thomas Young but it was a width that Thomas Williams had put on the pass each time and it just got into the RGC midfield really and it was great play by Wales well uh Good applause from the uh, locals here as their skipper Andrew Williams unfortunately leaves the game. He's obviously had a leg injury, a serious one, and it means another substitution. Robin Williams on um, taking his place in the pack. Yeah, a sad end of the season, therefore, to the um, captain of RGC. And it'll be a scrum five metres out. And Wales ready to add to the 64 points they've got already. Yeah, and all of a sudden there's a couple of tries this half. And I say that with respect to RGC, you know, it's 50 minutes on, there's a couple of tries. And this, to be fair, I think this half feels more of a game, Alan. It's, um, you know, there's a bit more going on that we, we get used to seeing week in, week out. So, um, you know, RGC deserve full credit for that. But not the last one, no. Almost a quarter of an hour gone then in the second half. Good attacking position for the Welsh side. They've already added two early tries in the second Crash. half through Alex Cuthbert and Gareth Anscombe. Bind. You feel as if Set. there's a third one on the way. Hold, 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 hold. Tom Williams feeds the scrum. Navidi, Josh Navidi's at number Just eight. Uh, the scrum moves around guys. half a circle, and Ian Davis asks him really to go down a second time. Guys, listen, let's work hard on our stability, okay? That's not that standards deteriorating now. I think you can hear the instructions Hello. from uh, Ian Davis. Yeah, yeah. Well, so absolutely. Let's get a stable first, right, Tom? You know, the, whilst we're waiting for, as you say, his, his instructions, as you say, the first half, the scrum was a genuine start to play this half, and I think it was one in particular during the first half. It, you know, it's, it's becoming more of a contest. Crouch. Terrific crowd here. Bye. Enjoying and basking in the Set. late evening sunshine. Historic occasion as well. Wales pushing early, says Ian Davis, and it'll be a free kick uh, for the North Wales. Now, don't forget, <laughs> their skipper has left the field, and uh, all of a sudden, poor old Robin Williams didn't know what to do with the ball. <laughs> well, they get ten. Uh, I think Ian Davis has kindly moved them onto the um, well, 20 meters perhaps, not just ten. So there might have been a bit of back chat from the Welsh side. Who knows? RGC ball, but again, good defence from the Welsh side. A little chip over the defence. Cuthbert, Cuthbert. <laughs> One, two, three, bringing him down. It was a little bit like a... Maybe a herd of uh, cheetahs bringing wildebeest down then. Tom Williams. Williams looks sharp, he's through, can he go all the way, he's looking for support, he's still going, flings the ball out, oh, a card, it's got to be on, it's got to be on, Corey Allen, inside pass from Allen, in the hope that somebody is there, <laughs> it's a little bit like watching the Harlem Globetrotters at the moment, the ball is back on the Welsh side, again they've been camped inside this 22 now for quite a few minutes, haven't quite managed to reach the uh, try line yet. They're about 10 metres out. Welsh ball again. It goes left. The, oh, the last pass goes astray. Tyler Morgan was over in the corner. But again, you'd have to give credit to the tackle. The tackler um, made that pass go astray. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Patchell did his utmost and he to try and get that ball slick onto Tyler Morgan. A little bit low. He spilt it. Would have been in for his fourth try, which would have been a great personal total. Here we see it. It's great skills here by, by Pacho, but you know, again, you know, credit to RGC. You know, there's a couple of tackles as prior to that as well. You know, Reese Williams on 
Corey Allen, you know, big defenders, you know, and uh, they're, they're keeping Wales out of the morning. I think we've got a um, few more substitutions had, um, to be made. I think Seb Davis is leaving. Oh, oh, ah, I can see Aaron Shingler on the left hand side who's come on in the back row. Oh, what a fine end of season he's had too, isn't he? Yeah, he has too, isn't he? You know, and again, you know, replacing strength, strength replacing strength, so to speak. But uh, you know, must applaud Seb Davis in a great game. Yeah, well, he, a couple of rampaging runs from the uh, young forward up in the middle. One at the end of the first half, and uh, <laughs> shaking hands with all the substitutes on the side there. He must have enjoyed his evening. Learned much of his rugby in his younger days at Pentir Rugby Club. Uh, the Wichich lad from Cardiff did very well. And talking of Wichich lads, there's another one. Different school this one though. Rhys Patchell, uh, one of the Glantav heroes, along with the Robinson brothers and Jamie Roberts, the captain tonight. And stabilise, hold! Scrum for um, RGC. We've almost played an hour in this game. Wills very comfortably ahead, as you would expect. Ten tries in the bag already. Still pressing for an 11th try. Forwards move forward. The ball shoots out, and it will be an easy try in the corner. Well, Thomas Young will score an easier try yeah. than that, will he? But. Uh... <laughs> we were saying, what we the scrum is starting to become more of a contest now, isn't it? And uh, you know, if you like, it was a really good head there. I think it was Win Jones there, really put RGC under pressure on their own ball, and it just allowed Thomas Young then to uh, to profit really for a, with a simple walk in. Well, he's had a, a wonderful season with Wasps, uh, and that's probably as easy a try as he's had to score this season. Yeah, he looks a bit quicker than his dad there as well, doesn't he? <laughs> Well, I asked you earlier about the 89 tour, of course, we must remember Dai was on that tour. Uh, didn't he come in as a sort of youngster while he was out there? Yeah, I taught Dai how to pass on that tour. <laughs> no, he, um, he was formidable, to be fair, in 89, you know, tight head. Yes. Anchoring the scrum at sort of 21 years of yeah. age is uh, <laughs> something else, let's be honest. Well, I notice it, I, I'll wait uh, and watch the conversion attempt, first of all, from Owen Williams. Is this one successful? No, I don't think so. But I did read an article um, in the paper either this morning or yesterday morning from Ian McGeechan said picking the best Lions team that he has been a part of. And, and, and Dai's in there. Dai was in that Dye's side. In there, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're making that sort of selection, you're uh, yeah. you're doing something right. Uh, oh, absolutely. Right, 50 points between the side. We've played an hour. Um, substitutions galore. Um, in fact, it's a little bit like musical chairs in the game at the well, moment. It was a cheeky kick off there by Billy McBride. Just put Wills under a little bit of pressure, so we'll see how, uh, see how they manage from here now. Welsh ball forwards with the drive. Tom Williams. Patchell with a long kick downfield. Acres of space there. It's a good one. Oh, it's a terrific kick from uh, Patchell. And he has got a thumping boot to him as well. Well, there's room, you know, again, that Wales kicked at exactly the right time there, and more importantly, they executed. That's a great Mark, kick. Mark, we're going into the last quarter. It's been a tough game, but the Tony, boys are still digging uh, Lowry's deep, got the they? company of oh, Mark Jones. Let's hear what he's been going to say. You know, we've tried our best to, to, to play as best we can, but you can see there's a massive difference in physicality, um, and it's so much easier for them to generate that fast ball. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've, we've got a little bit caught in the headlights every now and again, and they've, they've profited, and, uh, you know, they're, they're a very good side. So... Um, but look, the good thing for me is the commitment's here. Most of the boys are getting a run out. Brilliant crowd here and everything. And this is this is not just about the on-field stuff. This is about what we do uh, off the pitch as much as anything. So it's been a it's been a good afternoon. But I just hopefully we can finish with a score or two and just see if we can tighten that scoreboard up a little bit. It looks a bit ugly at the moment. Are you surprised with the new look Welsh side uh, about their way of playing? No, not at all. I think what you got here is a new group of players. So they're obviously keen to impress. Um, good thing for me is a really young side. So I think you know with with the time the coaches have with them, they'll be able to develop this group perhaps a bit quicker than maybe some of the guys that have been used to being playing a different style with uh, in the previous years gone by so um, yeah no these these guys are a talented bunch and I'm sure they'll do well on tour of Wales and what's great as well it's been an eye-opener to your boys about the level they need to attain if they need 
those regional contracts? Without a doubt, uh, you know, they're always asking about uh, the difference in the standard and uh, the quality. Well, they've had a good eye-opener today about, you know, what's in the regions, not even in the first-choice positions. A lot of the guys on the field here are third, fourth choices in their positions at the region. So our guys are measuring themselves. And look, it's, it's, part, it's at the end of the day, it's, it's part-time players against fully professional guys. And, you know, you can see at the key moments, key decisions and the physical aspect, there's a, there's a gulf when it comes to it. But there's no reason why these guys, still very young, can't develop. There's many players we've got in our squad. If you slotted them into the Wales team, they'd, they'd fit in nicely. Mark, it's a great occasion. Do you have a Yeah, thanks very much. Thank you. So well spoken, isn't he, Mark Jones? And he's uh, created a fantastic impression as head coach up here. You'd have to give the guy a great deal of credit. Yeah, I think him and Phil John have been uh, massive for RGC this year. And uh, I can't praise him enough, really. And yeah, he sums up a treat, doesn't he? You know, he's got a lot of honesty in there. And, uh, you know, I think he recognises this is a great occasion. And I think it was a. a one, well, I, I can't call it a gesture, but it was a, a stroke of genius, you can say, to bring Phil John up here to assist him as well. Another uh, Scarlet hero. <laughs> no, as you say, good thinking, good thought process. You know, great, great ingredients, and uh, yeah. you know, yeah, the yeah. chance for them now is to, to repeat, and try and go up a notch next year. Indeed, it, it's a, a scrum to the North Williams. We're into the last quarter, and this will be interesting. You know, another yeah. scrum. I bet we'll, you know, Wales will probably look to really though, attack this and disrupt RGC. I'm looking ahead to the, this tour now, and I still have in the back of my mind a few question marks about one or two positions. Um, I'll, I'll mention two as an example. Maybe um, fullback number eight. Uh, I still have question marks. Have you got answers for me? <laughs> well, I suppose what, uh, we'll, well, if you take the back row to start with, Wales have selected quite a, a mobile back row, haven't they? You know, maybe they've, and uh, they've, they've selected quite a few flankers, if I can yeah. call them that, haven't they? And, um, and maybe I put Josh Navidi in that category, although he's played a lot as number eight for the Blues yeah, this and he, season. and these guys are efficient at eight, at six, at seven, but as you say, we haven't potentially got your genuine out-and-out -out eight goal in a week. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see now what happens. And again, we, we we still don't know about one or two positions, whether they will be cleared up before the side leave. I think it's next Wednesday they leave on their long flight. And that first match then against Tonga. I think the selection tells you how they look into play, isn't it? It's going to be a, a huge confrontational tour. I know there's only two games, but I say only with respect against, you know, big physical sides. So I, I would argue that Wales will look to put their own stamp and mobility on the two games. Yep. RGC moving closer and uh, into the Welsh 22. Ryan Elias to throw the ball in, although he could be substituted. And if he will be, it could very well be Scott Baldwin, is it, or Scott Oaten? Scott yeah. Baldwin. Yep, it's uh, Scott Baldwin. Welsh ball. Patchell unceremoniously brought down to earth. But again, Navidi this time looking for the gap. Still going. Offloads inside. Support comes from uh, Dylan Lewis. Tom Williams moves it swiftly. Men out on the right. Adam Beard, we haven't seen much of him. The uh, lanky young Osprey lock, but uh, he's certainly one for the future. Giant of a man, six foot eight. Welsh ball again. Williams with a little flick inside. Owen Williams in the upset half position. Okay, they move it out left. Steph Evans, I think, has just come on as well as uh, substitute. Yeah, and Gareth Thomas is on as well. In front row great feet again these big boys showing a lot of great feet which is allowing things like this to happen then it's just uh, it's just tying in that RGG, RGG Tyler defense. Morgan with a break then Tony sorry to cut across you there's another opportunity for Cuthbert Cuthbert on the way for a second try perhaps can he get there no he's collared <laughs> Wills within inches but it eventually the try comes it's a, a fourth try in the second half and it's Corey Allen yet again. A hat-trick for Tyler Morgan. 
and a hat trick for Allen. Yeah, that was well constructed, wasn't it? You know, a lot of good approach work. You know, and a lot of um, different pace on the ball, but a quick ball, but a slow ball. And I think what Wales did well is they they gradually got momentum back into the the phase play, and then eventually got across the try there with Corey Allen. So they'd be pleased with that try. You know, sometimes in rugby, the clean tries are the ones you think are people are pleased about but I mean yeah. equally they had to work for that and uh, I think he'd be pleased with that as well and I think he needed all of his 6 foot 3 15 10 body to reach that trial and then but it helped so focus back on Owen Williams again who's taken over the kicking responsibilities in the second half now from Gareth Anscombe 17 points for Gareth Anscombe in the game, six successful conversions and a try early in the second half. Williams. <sighs> Sonia hits the right hand post. Uh, four tries then so far, and we're in to the last 12 minutes of the game. As the sun sets on Park Arias, over to the left hand side. Lovely evening here in North Wales, though, Tony. And I think uh, the authorities will be delighted at the way things have worked out. Yeah, when you think about sort of hosting a game like this and it comes off in this fashion, then you've got to be nothing but delighted, really. Isn't it? Oh, now then, is there an opportunity down this side? It could very well be. Little kick and chase through from uh, Reese Williams. The referee will go to the fourth official. Was there a late tackle? Yeah, I mean, Dion Jones made the inroads, didn't he? We'll have to see it again. Lovely run, first of all, from Dion Jones, the yeah, substitute. Now, let's have a little look at the pictures again. This will be interesting. Well, he went for the kick. Uh, I think Thomas Williams came in with a tackle from behind. Hmm. Not sure. I'm not sure if it was a penalty try, but no, I think a penalty will follow. Whether whether a yellow card will follow, I don't know. Tim Hayes pen. is the fourth official. Clearly an early tackle, it's cynical, it's yellow. It's going to be yellow, Tom Williams will leave, they'll be down to 14 men Where for the... Bernard? Well, huh? for the next 10 minutes. No, you got him in front of you. It's clearly an early tackle by 20. Yeah. Perhaps this will show it a little bit clearer. Yeah, fair shout, fair well, shout. I think the only word I dispute there was clearly a late tackle by 20. I'd say just a late tackle by 20, maybe a penalty. But yeah. there we are, he's gone to the bin. I mean, yeah, I've seen those given either way, but Tim Hayes is the man. Well, at least it'll make there. it a little bit more interesting now, won't it? Absolutely. Over the next 10 minutes. And it'll, you know, test Wales, as you say, 14 against 15. Reese Williams, take it, take it, take they have play, good, play, clean line out ball. Good. Robin Williams takes it. Ball's on the deck. Picked up by Curtis Reynolds, another one of their uh, front row substitutions. Helping out is Will Bryan. Cam Davis, the substitute scrum off, goes blind, tries to find a gap. They're within about two or three metres. Wheels down to 14 men. RGC pressing for a fourth try for them. Ah, they lose possession. Shingler is onto it in a flash. He's done well. Now, what will Wills do? Will they kick downfield? Owen Williams is straight back by his own try line. Wait, wait, wait. And a long right footed kick clears the danger for Wills. Huh? Yeah, and exactly what they should have done, you know, they're down to 14 under the car. Sean Edwards clearly said at them half time, this half has got to be a nil. You know, we mustn't let them cross. You know, 19 points in the first half is far too much to ship. And so far, so good for Wales, you know, they're down to 40, you know, they'll have a different sort of test. And Owen Williams on that occasion was right to kick the touch. Another Williams, Reese Williams then to throw in. Possession in the back of the line out. Have to be careful now with these long floated passes, but uh, a good charging run crosses the game line. Davis, this is flanker Tim Gray. I think they've lost it, it's recycled back on the Welsh side. Uh, that last pass was forward as it reached Steph Evans. 
uh, but it trickles over the touchline on the far side. Option line the scrum. And um, referee Ian Davis gives uh, the North line Wales an ball. option of uh, a line out or a scrum. Yeah. Uh, I suspect they might go for the line out. Yeah, race by left from Steph Evans was looking line forward to uh, a bit of a jaunt there down that tram line, but didn't quite happen. Yet another young Scarlet with a bright future ahead of him. I, I tell you what, it was your pleasure to watch lately, and you know when I, the last few games he's played have been real top draw, haven't they, for the Scarlets? I mean, he's really uh, he's almost been a catalyst for them to a degree yes. out wide, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Look at that crowd in the background, isn't it? A wonderful sight yeah, here at Park see. Areas. Sun setting over to our left-hand side now as we're into the last ten minutes. Just under eight minutes to be perfectly right. Left RDC with a the ball. They still, they haven't given up hope. They're still taking the game to Wales. This is Lonsdale. The ball is set back to Cam Davis. McBride is uh, collared, and they lose the ball yet again. Look on the deck, but uh, somehow they regain it. In that scrum half this time is Tom Hughes. Uh, Mark Jones was referring earlier to the physicality. There is a difference, and you notice that when they get possession, if the tackle comes in, look at look at this now. They, then immediately they move back, can't they? They've Absolutely. lost. They've lost ten yards in that process straight away. Yeah, and whilst I haven't got the ball, it's exactly what Sean Edwards will be pleased about. Is that you know they've moved RG3 even though without the ball they've moved them 10, 15 meters back, and uh, you know their physical line speed and, Seven and confrontation has been superb. Time off, 13 14. Two more substitutions uh, and two people coming back for RGC. Evan Jones has come back at scrum half. And I think I think Andrew Williams is back actually. Well he looked as if uh, his season was over a few minutes ago when he left Hobbling. Well, huge applause for Tom Hughes, he's had a terrific season. Tony Clement was uh, commenting earlier. Uh, a real bright spark. In amongst the backs for RGC. Wales have the ball. The dangerous Steph Evans trying to go on his own. Lutz brings uh, brings him down, but his Welsh ball just inside the um, RGC half. Wales, don't forget, down to 14 men. Tom Williams in the uh, the sin bin. Welsh ball moved left. Now, this is the man who scored three tries so far. He's got Navidi out on the far touchline. Number eight is tackled. Well ball, though. Uh, good work by RGC, although Ian Davis seems to think there was a little bit of offside there. I don't know myself. I thought the ball was out. Slipping around the side, RGC. Now, do they go? Uh, surely they, they run it now. Cam Davis, I think, was... Uh, Penalised on that occasion, they do go for the line out. Yeah, referees are hot on that. Now, if you really are sort of attacking and there's a hint of a disruption to slowing that ball down, then you are penalised. We haven't quite seen the free-flowing rugby that we did in the first half, um, Tony. But uh, having said that, is it to be? expected when you consider all the changes that have been made by both teams it is isn't it and i think we alluded to that i mean it's more of a game this half you know even though wales are you know pretty much i think 22 nil up second half welsh it is more of a game welsh four was on the drive possession two meters out again they go for the and i think a try is surely come it could be tom young at the bottom to claim a second try i think it is Yes, it is, indeed. So, two tries to the uh, young flanker. Many people predicting that he could be used as a six on this tour. Um, and, and again, I come back to the point that you and I were talking about earlier. Um, they've got several flankers there. So, what will Robin McBride do as far as playing a number eight? It's interesting, isn't it? You know, I mean, he, Thomas Young's been a prolific try scorer for Wasps. He's on the end of everything in the, in the Aviva Premiership every week. But no, sometimes it's a danger, isn't it? You've got a lot of flankers, you've got a lot of midfielders. When do you actually then settle on your, your, your pattern in the tighter games to really execute? It can be, the point I'm making is, Alan, it can be quite busy. 
you know, you can have busy players all sort of complementing each other, but Maybe not looking out, top when, you look, when you're looking to get across the weight loss. Yeah, he's a powerful, powerful young man. All right, yeah. yeah. All right, okay. Uh, I think Bye. there was a, an element of doubt as to whether he'd grounded it. I think uh, Ian Davis was right to ask Tim Hayes for his opinion. And apologies for keep talking during that, because I, without hesitation, thought it was a try. So, <laughs> so Owen Williams to try and take Wales into the 80s. Just under the five minutes to go in this match. Again, remember, they're down to 14 men. Quite a few Williams is on the pitch tonight, but uh, Tom Williams, 10 minutes in the sin bin. Owen Williams, successful on this occasion, Wales therefore into the 80s. Generally speaking, you know, um, well, let's have a look. Ah, Gareth Davis. Gerard John. And Gerard John. Gerard John, uh, I think, is with Laurie Morgan uh, this time, so we'll see what he's got to say now. Gerard John, and we're going to go here now. Um, or an sabwyd y performio, mae di bod yn arbrawf, hynod iddorol, i weld y goreion yn yr uwch gynrer, yn wynebu y goreion yn ymlaad. I think his official title is performance director or whatever with the Welsh Rugby Union. Can Robin Moy wneud hwn really sharedd yn y gynrad? Head of performance with the Welsh Rugby Union. Mae wedi bod yn dda i gweud y gweud, mae'n dda'r chwaneiwyr. That's what I was doing again. It's been a, 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 a wonderful night for both sides. That's what he's trying to say. Passed up on the line, no mind. Was man a moy who had a great occasion. He came in at the vote. Hello, Dick. Was you in with your pleasure here? And the gold medal. Lowry's asking now, is there anybody oh, in particular who's been there? Where did Bodden Gallery do the new hen of God? Madam Ziffin and Dordlan and Gavlim Young. The next man who was scored a case there had it. Lots of tries he's had, but the defence on both sides has been good. Generally speaking, at the time of Gavlim Young, where he was advanced, he was the cult performer here now. So many youngsters and opportunities like this. He's bound to pay dividends in the end. Because Mitchell Bowles is about to get on stage. They have two real tests coming up in the next few weeks. I think it's going to be a very good test. Yeah, apparently during the week, lots of uh, uh, talks about the opportunity to come along and see the sessions that Wales have been involved in and learn the ropes, which is another way of looking at it too. Of course, Mas and Tonga, Mas and Erwin Samor, of course, Mas and Numini Vod and Gorforol and Galed and Devet. Laurie's asking now about the physicality against Tonga and Samor. Laurie's asking now about the physicality against Tonga and Samor. Well, I don't know if it's very good, Sharon Lina, but I don't know if it's very good, but I don't know if it's very good. Man of mine travelled the bill. They've only just um, uh, lately said, started um, talking about the different challenges that are waiting for them. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all the bills. But I don't think they've got all Bwi'n gwybod bod chi mewn mas ar y daith, felly pob lwc i chi gyd mas fynd â diolch unrhyw eto geraint i'n siarad iddi. Another one who speaks a lot of sense, Geraint John. A lot of experience as well as in a coaching capacity out in Canada and also with the Australian SEMS team before he returned to Wales, but, you know, he's a terrific asset to the game in Wales. Oh, that's right, and the one point you mentioned there, you know, so Wales are very skillful, aren't they? That's undoubted. They've executed superbly well tonight, but as you say, he's yeah. trying to do that now under extreme contact. He never did. That they will face over the next yeah, two yeah. games down under. Black, yeah? Well, uh, we're into the last minute, Tony. An exercise well done? Oh, absolutely. I mean, okay. not, 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 a, not a question, you know, absolutely superb evening. And I think the game was oh. always going to sort of become more of a contest, if you like, as a rugby spectacle second half because of the changes and everything else. The first half, I enjoyed RGC coming into it towards the end of the first half. Crouch. But particularly Wales racing Fine. over the blocks in the first half an hour. Set. Half a minute to go then. Callon Lan sung in the background. Wales going for a 14th try. On the scissors. Cuthbert, he's there, I think. He's reached the try line, and that could be, uh, well, the last word for Alex Cuthbert. He scored in the first minute of the second half. He's added a second look in the last minute of the game as well. Yeah, good power run, isn't it? You know, it was difficult to uh, to stop really. Strong man. 
you know, big attempt there by Cam Davis for RGC to try and stop him, but uh, he'd be pleased with that. <laughs> Again, a few jocular comments from the uh, PA announcer as Owen Williams tries to add two more points to Wales, his massive score of 86 points to bring a thoroughly enjoyable evening to an end. Owen Williams of Leicester Tigers. Two more points to him. The final score, Rugby Gogled Cymru, RGC 19 points, Wales 88. In the process, they've scored 14 tries. Two tough tests await them now as they make their summer tour to Tonga and Samoa. But as far as this evening, an exercise very much well done. They will be happy with their result. Thank you very much for your company from Tony Clement and myself, Valin Jenkins. A very good evening from North Wales. No star, Higir.